All right, guys, this is the last lesson on circles. We've done everything inside circles, outside circles, angles, segments, you name it. We're now going to go look at the equation of a circle. We're going to give it to you real quick and then show you how to plug in for all of them. It's going to be a really quick last lesson. So we're all going to be good. It's going to be great. Awesome. So standard form of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center and r is the radius, all right? This should give you some Algebra 1 vibes when you did quadratic equations and it was um, vertex form. Um, it looked something like this, y equals x minus h squared plus k. Basically, you have one of those doing this. You have another one going the other way, and together, it basically makes your circle. So that's why you're getting vibes from a quadratic equation like that in vertex form, which is very easy to find center. This equation for circles is supposed to be very easy to find center like that as well. You just got to get h comma k. Uh, it does change the signs, right? These are both positive, but in the equation here and here, they're negative. And r can get a little finicky, but it should be pretty nice. In class kick, you're going to have to do this with spaces. We get a space here, 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 a space here. So actual correct grammatic, grammatic uh, spacing for typing equations because I just didn't have time to put all of the, uh, <laughs> to put everything in there. But you're going to plug your numbers in and it's going to be pretty straightforward. It's really just going to be that. So we've got five examples to just brush right through. The first ones we're gonna do are one, three, and five on this page, page 29. And then we'll do seven and eight, I think, that's it. So the center for number one is H comma K. The radius is two, you just plug it into the equation. It's gonna be X minus five squared plus Y minus three squared equals two squared, that's four. Number three, just as nice, we've got H and K. They did not give you a radius though, they gave you a diameter. So you know the diameter is twice as long as the radius. So if the diameter is 18, the radius is gonna be nine. So you can do X minus negative two squared plus Y minus negative 11 squared equals 81, that is R squared right there. And then again, for number five, just as easy, you've got H and K, you've got R right here, so you're good, you just gotta plug it in. So we have X minus negative four squared, plus you can write Y minus zero, you can write Y plus zero, you could put Y parentheses squared. The easiest way though is to just write Y squared, um, and it equals, 47. For anyone wondering why, well, if r is 40 is the square root of 47, we need r squared. So we're actually going to square both sides. You guys remember though that squares and square roots, they are opposites of each other. They cancel out. So that's going to be 47 right there. And that's it. So those are those. Uh, we got two more. We got an equation given a graph and then an equation, the last one, which I'm going to breeze through real quick. Sorry, uh, but we I pushed. I got three minutes till class starts. I got to run. So um, the center for this circle is right here. You can just count with your graph. This is from the origin. It is three negative two is the point right there. So I know my equation is going to be X minus three squared plus Y plus two squared, it's going to equal something to find the radius, make your life easy. You can count from left to right. So for the radius, if you just count from the center to the edge, one, two, three, four, it's definitely five. So if your radius is five, which you can count very quickly, five squared would be 25. And that's that equation. We got one more, and then I got to let my fifth period in. They gave you a center, that's H comma K. And they gave you a point, right? So we know the equation is going to be x minus 9 squared plus y minus 10 squared equals r squared. But we need r. So in addition to being h and k, you need r. You need to find out how long the radius actually is. For that, you have to do distance formula. A little throwback uh, to chapter 1. Sorry, that's x2 and y2. And you just plug it in to your distance formula. It's gonna be x2 minus x1 squared plus 
y2 minus y1 squared, and you're just plugging in your numbers. So this is going to be the square root of, in parentheses, 7 minus 9 squared plus 4 minus 10 squared, right? This is negative 2 squared plus negative 6 squared. That is the square root of 4 plus 36. That is the square root of 40. That's what R is. That's D, it's R, it's the same thing, right? And by the same trick, you don't care. It's six point something, who cares? The square root of 40 is definitely the answer uh, for R. We're gonna square it though. So we have R equals the square root of 40. We're gonna square both sides. This is all gonna, it's just gonna be equals 40. And that would be your answer. So you guys are working on page um, 34 and 35. They're the immediate next two pages. Don't get tripped up by that. Uh, let me know if you have questions, comments, concerns. Tomorrow we're going to review. And then on Thursday, we're taking the test. Happy almost Easter, you guys. And if you don't celebrate Easter, happy Easter break, though. We're almost there. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye.